bring from the, how do you know that she needs to bring from the old grain? Chadasha shall serve me nayin. Talmalaymer chadasha chadasha. The pasuk is repeated twice. Uh, it's this term mincha chadasha l'ashem is said in Parshas Amar, and it's also said in Parshas Pinchas. The holidays are said several times in the Torah, so it uses this term mincha chadasha twice. One of them is tell me is t- uh, to tell me the wheat. And imeni inyan lechadasha shall chitim. If the second one, I don't need to tell me that it's the new, the new mincha of wheat. So I'll use it for the tenei inyan lechadasha shall sayrim. We'll apply it that it needs to be the new grain, the new offering also for barley. It means you're not allowed to bring barley before the shtei alechem. Not allowed to bring a new mincha from a new uh, a mincha from new barley crop before the shtei alechem. We nine to take kedemus lebikurim. How do we know that the Shtei Alechem comes before the Bikurim, which are the, all the fruits and all of that? Talmud Laimar, which also, I should mention, it also has the grain, wheat and, wheat and barley. The Pasuk says, V'chag shvuas tasalacha bikuri k'tir chitim. That shvuas you should do as the first harvest of wheat. That means that you bring the Shtei Alechem before, the, before even the other wheat that's brought. V'in li'ala bikuri k'tir chitim. I know that the Bikurim has all the seven grains. I'm going to bring wheat amongst in the Bikurim. So I know that the Shtei Alechem needs to come before the wheat part of the Bikurim. But what about the other parts? Ksir Sairim and Ayin. How do I know that the, the Shtei Alechem, the two loaves that are brought on Shvuas, need to come before the barley of, the, of your private Bikurim offering? Talmudaymer v'chaga katsir Bikurim asecha shetizra basada. It says, Bikurim asecha, that you will plant the first of your offering that you will plant in the field, uh, that's coming to include also barley. That means that the two loaves of bread need to come before the bikurim that you bring from the barley. You bring wheat, barley, you bring the other five uh, fruits as well. But we said before, we understood that it comes before the wheat. Now we have a pasuk that includes that it comes before the barley. Vainly, Yala Shetizra. I only know, it says, Shetizra Basada, that you planted in the field. I only know that if it was planted, how do I know that if I'm going to bring Bikurim from barley, that, that uh, let's say it, it grew on its own, I didn't plant it, it was from the, 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 the seeds that fell and it grew on its own. Maybe those Bikurim, I can bring before the Shtei Alechem, because it doesn't say that in the Pasuk, that it comes before that. Talmud Leimer Basad, it says no in the field. It's in the field, the fact is it grew in the field. What about if it didn't grow in the field? Maybe I could bring that before the Shtei Alechem. How do I know? Let's say it grew on the roof. It's possible. Some dirt collects on the roof. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a little grain grows over there. I could bring the barley from there. Or let's say it grew in a, a place that was um, rubble. You know, it grew in between some rubble, some broken down area. The Sheba Atzitz, maybe it was in a flower pot. The Sheba Sfinor grew on a boat. Maybe I can read, it doesn't say, it's not in the field. If you're going to read the Pasuk literally, the Shtei Alechem needs to come before what grew in the field. But this didn't grow in the field, so maybe I can bring this before the Shtei Alechem. Talmud Leimer Bikuri Kol Shabbat. The first of all that's in your land. Minayin Shateke Demes Lenesachem Uperes Ilan. How do I know? that I can't bring the Bikurim before the Shtei Alechem. Uh, which part of the Bikurim? Well, I know the wheat and the barley I can. But what about the oil and the, and the wine, which is the grapes and the, and the uh, zayas, and the other fruits, the pomegranates and the, the dates and, and the figs? So, Nemar Khan Bikurim Masecha. It says over here the first of your actions. It says by Sukkot, when you will gather in the fruits into your, into, into your uh, fr- your fruits from the field into your house. And it says, it calls it Masecha. It says when you gather in your actions from the field, which means all, all the produce. So it, what is your action? Malahala Nesachem Uperesil. And just like by Shavuos, it's referring to all the fruits and the wine and the oil. So Afkan Nesachem Uperesil. Also, when it says that it comes before, the Shtei Alechem comes before your actions, it's the first of your actions, it's referring to, comes before the fruits and the wine and the oil, that's going to be, the Shtei Alechem needs to come before that part of Bikurim as well. Basically, in summary, Bikurim comes after the Shtei Alechem is brought, after Shavuot. So every part of the Bikurim, the wheat, the barley, the oil, the wine, all of it is. 
Shtei alechem comes first. Ketani mia. See, we're quoting this, but uh, like, what's the point? Ketani mia. We learned here over here. Shabegag v'shabachur v'shabatzus shabeshabesvina. See, it was interesting. We said that the Bikurim needs to come from the seven species. If it, and, and it also needs to come from the best of the seven species. If it grew on a mountain, or if it grew in the valley, it's poor quality and it's not counted. So, okay. Ula said, that was a statement from Ula. It's not even, it's not sanctified. We quote this long b'risa that's discussing the Shtei In this b'risa, we mention that how do we know that the Shtei needs to come before the Bikurim? Maybe there's certain parts of the Bikurim that could come first. And one of our options was that let's say I grew the grain um, on the roof, or I grew it in a churva, or I grew it in a, in a pot, or I grew it on a boat. So it says maybe that type of Bikurim I could bring before the Shtei Alechem, because it didn't grow in the field. The Pasuk says we grew in the field. This didn't grow in the field. We learned from Masecha, we learned Kol uh, Hashem We learned from anything that's in your land, not even the field, even if it's not the field. The problem is, is that what type of grain is that? What type of barley is that? That you grew it in a pot on the roof on the, on the thing? It's probably very poor quality. It's got to be worse than the... Uh, but, but today you have what's called green roofs. People grow a lot of vegetables, a lot of them <laughs> on the roof. Right. And it's a quality. Right. 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 The interesting thing is... Okay, there's two parts to that. Um, there's two parts to that. First of all, first of all, this the, is talking about wild that grew by himself. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but you have to understand that the land of Israel gives us great produce. Yes. Um, but it's really it's all acrobatic uh, agriculture. It's like all it's it's very hard to grow there. I mean, it's sort of rocky. And uh, with uh, with great brilliance, you know, they figured out how to grow it in these like unbelievable places and the desert and all of that. So naturally, if you don't put in all of that uh, that infrastructure to get it to work, so naturally, you would have the the better crops would be in the the richer soil and 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 uh, and all of that. So that's what the Gemara is probably referring to. So yes, it, it's possible to get uh, to get it, but that takes much more effort. Um, and the other thing is, is that grapes, they they, they have this uh, the the grapes uh, where they don't water it. You know that? Hydroponic? No, they don't water it. They don't water. They don't water it. And the grapes, the, it needs to sink the roots down farther and farther down to get to, to the water. Oh wow! Basically, they put it under stress. Stress. Right? And that, that somehow that gives it like a better flavor, so it's like people. It, yeah, that's what I want to say. When you put people on stress, they're moving. Like you contest the zayit. Right. When you really work on that, it's yeah. kind of like a time. We should never have. We should have it easy. We should have it easy. No stress. Right. So, you hear the question. No, the Gemara's question is yeah. that how could Ula say that it's not? That it's not uh, sanctified. Yeah, it, 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 the bikurim, it's not good bikurim if it's of lesser quality. When our brisa says that the bikurim is possible to have been brought from the what grew on the roof, it grew from a churva. So the Gemara explains, Seifa asan lemenaches. We're not actually talking about the bikurim. Yes, the brisa seemed to be leading up to all of this was all bikurim, but actually. The, the point of the Bryce was that the Shtei Alechem needs to be first, not only to Bikurim, but first to all other sacrifices as well, which is the, the Karban Mincha, so what, other meal offerings and all of that. So what we're saying is that if you, not the Bikurim, Bikurim wouldn't be sanctified from, from uh, if it grew on the roof or it grew on a boat. Uh, what we're saying is that the Shtei Alechem needs to come before a Karban Mincha, not Bikurim, but a different Karban Mincha, that the grain grew on a roof or a, or a boat, because that I wouldn't have a Pasuk for, because we only have for the field. So he says, no, anything in your land, that's what it's coming to teach. Maskafla, Ravada Barava. Ravada Barava has a question. You think that the Pasuk, that says, Bikure Kalasher Ba'artan, the Pasuk that includes even grain that grows on the roof, you think that that Pasuk is not talking about Bikurim? You think it's talking about a Karban Mincha? 
if you read the Pasuk, you'll see that it's impossible. Because the Pasuk says, It says that everyone that's pure in the family is allowed to eat it. Who's the family? The men, the women, the children. Are women allowed to eat the carbon mincha? The imenachis? Zichri kuna de mesachma. We, we learned before, we learned yesterday. Zichri kuna. The, 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 the male kayanim eat the carbon mincha. It's, it's kachi kachim. It's the, holy of, holy, it's the holiest uh, type of sacrifice. So it can't be that bikuri kalasher ba'artam is referring to a mincha. Amr of Mishashi, a tray kroiksir. It's two psukim. What it means is, is that you have to divide the pasuk. First it says, l'chayiyah. It should be for you. That's referring to the Kayanim. And it says, that the second part of the Pasuk is everyone that's pure in your house, you should eat it. The first part of the Pasuk, that's referring to the Menachis. And then you divide the Pasuk, to you it should be referring to the Kayanim. It's all referring to a carbon Mincha. And we still have a way of explaining it. Why? The safe of the cross in Lalach Mitaida. I have one mincha that's not considered holy of holies. It's considered Kachim Kalim. Why? Because it's the carbon taida that comes along with the shlamim, which is Kachim Kalim. And that carbon mincha is eaten by the whole family. And that's called Tarbe Beis Chayisai. Everyone that's pure is allowed to eat it. Very interesting. Okay, the Gemara says that. If uh, the, the Bikurim was brought from not the, from lesser quality, it's not the best quality. So we, we mentioned that Ula says that it's not sanctified. It's not good Bikurim. But Plukter, it's this is actually a machlaikis. This There's a opinion of Rabbi Yechanan that says, Im Hevi, like Kiddush, that if you bring it, it's not sanctified, which that's actually the opinion that we quoted before from Ula. Rish Lakish Amar, Im Hevi Kiddush. Rish Lakish says, that it is sanctified. Even though it's lesser quality. Rish Lakish explains his opinion. Let's say I bring an animal as a carbon that's a scrawny, skinny, uh, uh, not a fat, plump animal. It's still a sacrifice. It's still a sanctified. I didn't bring the best one. But it doesn't go off on the korban? It does. It, was it does. Ketur. So why are we saying that Bikurim is not a good uh, it's not a good sacrifice if it grew on a mountain? Okay, so the, the, the dates are a little thinner. It's not the module dates that you're bringing in the basket. It's, a, the, the regular, it's not the best sacrifice. It's okay, but it's still sanctified. That's Rish Lakish's opinion. But you have to bring the best. Bikurim. You have to bring the best. But let's say you didn't bring the best. Is it sanctified or you say, no, it's nothing. Just or take it back home. Just take it home. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> so Reish Lakish says that it's just like a sacrifice where it becomes sanctified. Yes, he didn't do the best, but it's still sanctified. Rabbi Yechanan said, no, it's nothing. We understand Reish Lakish, he gave his logic. He says, compared to an animal sacrifice. Rabbi Yechanan, my time. What's the reason for Rabbi Yechanan? Listen to this next thing. It's crazy. unbelievable. They're crazy. Amr Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar says, Rabbi Yechanan Chazoi B'chaloim. I saw Rabbi Yechanan in a dream. In a dream. So therefore, Milsa Malai Samina, what I'm going to say today is going to be great. And she had like a good sign. Is like, so Rabbi Lazar was the Chavrusa of Rabbi Yechanan. So he attempted Chavrusa of Rabbi Yechanan, but it didn't work out. He was the one that uh, after Rish Lakish passed away, they set Rabbi Lazar up with Rabbi Yechanan. And then Rabbi Yechanan passed away because he, he didn't have a friend to learn. He, he didn't have no Kamut. So, I, I'm assuming that it means that he passed away. Uh, he sees him in a dream. Uh, also because if he was there, they could have asked him. It must have been he passed away and they were discussing his opinion. It's not, it's not necessary. Not necessarily, it's right? Not necessary, no, it could be that sometimes you can dream of somebody right, that's alive, alive, right? Right. And you have a message. For right. Them. Right. I'm just uh, the reason why I'm saying that he probably yeah, passed away is because, or else they could have asked Rabbi Yechanan directly. 
Amakra, the Belazer says we can derive it from a Pasuk. It says, May Reishis. It says that you will bring from the first of the fruits of your land. It says, from the first. Well, they call Reishis, but you can't bring all the first. Why not? Because some of the first is not good quality. May Artzicha, from your land. Well, they call Artzicha, but not, from, not all your land. But what is that adding? Yeah. Um, huh? Yeah, you want us to hear, so please listen. Oh, oh, this is interesting. What he's bringing from, uh, uh, means all the first means that it needs to be, it needs to be the only the seventh species, not all the first of your fruits. Um, and then, but like Kolartza means that it, it can't be from all the land, that means that it can't be from the mountain and from the valley, which was lesser quality. Okay. Bresh Lakish. Hi, Artzacham Ayavadli. What does he do with that? It's, you could, according to him, you can bring from any part of the land. He needs it for what it says in the Bresh. Rabbi Gamliel, by Rabbi Yoimer, Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi's son. This is Rabbi Gamliel that we have in Perky Ovis. Nemer Khan Eretz, Nemer Lahalan Eretz. It says over here Eretz, which is Artzicha, talking about the Bikurim. And it says uh, Eretz by the land that flows with milk and honey. Uh, I'm sorry, the land, the uh, Eretz Chita Saira. Sorry. It says Eretz Chita Saira Gefen Tainarima, the Psukim that he says, Rabbi Chalta over there. Malahalan Shvach Eretz, Avkan Shvach Eretz. Just like over here, it's when it says Eretz, this is the one that Rashi brings in Parshat Kisava. Um, that just like over here it says Eretz, so also, uh, and it means the fruits that Israel is praised with. Uh, so, so uh, just like over there, it's referring to the fruits that Israel is pra- praised with. So, to Bikurim needs to be the fruits that Israel is praised with. Vi'idach, what does the other one do with that? Eretz me'ah, Vi'idach. Rabbi Yochanan, Eretz, what does it mean, May Eretz? Oh, Rabbi Yochanan, he says, May Eretz, from the fruits. That means it's excluding the, excluding the valleys in the, the, Rabbi Yochanan says it, May Eretz, you have to add the Memon. It's excluding the valleys and the mountains, where over there you don't get the best quality. So what does Rish Lakish do with that? Like he doesn't learn from the mem of Meyeretz. He says we don't learn from that. That's usually how these end uh, when we have a discussion. How do you use the words? Usually it ends with one of them saying, well, it says there's an extra letter there, and the other one will say back, well, I, I don't consider that uh, uh, yeah, so superfluous. Okay, Tani Chada, let's, let's turn the page. Uh, tomorrow we only learn a half hour. One Bryce says that if you do bring from the roof, from the, uh, uh, from the broken down area, from a flower pot, from a boat, you bring the Bikurim and you also say there's a certain paragraph that you read when you're doing everything correctly. So it says, oh, you did it, you're doing everything correctly, you read it even if you bring the fruits from these places. However, Tani I have another b'risa that says, yes, you can bring from the roof and from the boat and etc. But bein akira, but you don't bring the par- you don't read the paragraph, the paragraph that we say in the Haggadah, Arami Yevdavi, all of that stuff. You don't read you don't read that paragraph. Bishleim Marish Lakish works out well. Marish Lakish Gaga Gag Lekasha that we don't have a contradiction because Habagag Demara Habagag Debayas. You see, Marish Lakish says that if it's of lesser quality, you can you can bring it. It's sanctified. And so according to Rish Lakish, it makes sense. Why, one, why does one Bryce say you read it and one Bryce says that you don't read it? It says, well, it depends which type of roof. A roof on a house or if it's a roof of a cave. A roof of a cave is still the ground. So you read it. A roof of a house is not. Chorva, chorva leikasha, kam b'chorva avuda, kam b'chorva sheina avuda. It's, okay, you have a broken down house over there. But it depends. Did you plow it? 
did you uh, work it out? Did, did you ma- prepare an area to grow, or did he not prepare an area to grow? If you prepared an area, then you read the, the, the passage. If you didn't prepare it, then you don't read the passage. Also, it's, uh, it's, it's a flower pot on a flower pot. One Bryce says you read the paragraph, and the other one says you don't. Like Kasha, Kambinaka Kamenushan. It depends. Is there a hole in the bottom of the flower pot? If there's a hole in the bottom, then it, it's considered like it grew from the land. Svina, Svina, like Kasha. A boat on a boat, it's no question why. Kamba Svina Shalates, Kamba Svina Shalcheres. One is a boat that's made out of wood. One is a boat that's made out of clay. Which one is the one that I read from? Two opinions. <laughs> There's two opinions. One says that you read from the one that was made out of wood. The other opinion says, no, if it's made out of clay, then it can get its sustenance from the ground. But wood, not. The other one says, no, wood, you get the sustenance. Clay, not. There's two opinions how to learn this. Gemara. Elel, Rabbi Yechanan Kasha. The Gemara explains, no, it's not a problem. Because Rabbi Yechanan said, that for blessed quality, it's not sanctified, it's not a question. Because Rabbi Yechon is just going to say that the truth is, is that there's a machlekes tanayim, tanayhi, the tanya. There's a b'risa. Shabagag v'shabachor v'mevi v'koyre. Shabatzus v'shabasfina e'na mevi koliker. Shabatzus v'shabasfina e'na mevi koliker. So the b'risa says that that if it grew on a roof, or in a uh, broken down area, then you read you read the uh, the section, and if it grew in a pot or in a boat, then you don't bring it at all. Now what you're, what we're seeing is is that if it grew in a pot or on a boat, you don't bring it at all. That would fit with Rabbi Yechonon because it's not a good quality, so you don't bring it. So we see that Rabbi Yechonon has a source anyway, and he just says that there's a, those other prices go like a different opinion. Okay. Shkoyach.